What up though, it's Philip Tech. Today, I'm gonna show you how to connect your laptop to your TV. Imagine taking your 15 inch laptop and expanding it to 55 inches. Man, that would be a game changer when you're showing movies, pictures, and data files to a big group of people. The easiest way to expand your laptop screen with a TV or monitor would be with a wired connection. This method will work with any TV, doesn't matter if it's smart or not. You'll need the three following items a laptop, a TV, and a video cable. For me, it's HDMI. Take a look at the video input ports on both your laptop and TV. Then select the cable that's compatible with both. On mine, I have a HDMI port, a USB port, and USB Type-C on one side. On the other side, I have SD card slot and another USB port. So essentially only have one video port that I can use directly, and that is the HDMI port. HDMI is the most common, but I know right now on newer laptops, some don't even come with HDMI ports and they only come with USB type C ports. So in that case, you'll have to buy a USB type C to HDMI adapter, so then it can connect to your TV. The first thing you wanna do is connect your video cable to your laptop, then, Connect the other end to your TV. So after you have your laptop and TV connected, make sure you both turn both devices on. Automatically, it should change the input source settings on your TV so that it recognizes that, hey, it's connected to another device. As you see right now, the input source settings are changed to PC, so it recognizes there's a device that's connected to the TV. But that usually works for most new TVs. If you have an older TV, you have to change the input settings. So make sure you know the HDMI port that you plugged the cable into. It should be labeled one, two, three, four. And then go to your settings, input settings on your TV. So let me show you here. Hit the menu button. Scroll all the way to the left until you see source on your TV. Obviously the settings are gonna be different depending on the type of TV you have. And then you should be able to see uh, the different ports. It should say HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3. Then you would obviously just click the uh, port that your cable is connected to. So on this one, it just says PC because the smart TV is recognized when it's automatically connected to another uh, PC. So just hit select and here you go, HDMI 4. That's the port we're connected to. What you see right now on the TV is called the mirror screen. So everything that I do on the laptop will also be shown on the TV. So let's say I open up the web browser you automatically see it here on the laptop and the TV. I open up a, a file explorer, you automatically see it there and there. And when I move it, it also goes. Another option you have, when you hit the Windows and P, you're gonna have four options that come up. So hold Windows and P again. Right now you see it's on duplicate, that's the mirror displays. If you want to extend it, just hit P again, okay? So right now, the TV is an extension of your laptop. Let's say if I wanna move this folder to the other side on the TV, this is how I would do it. So this way you could actually work on your laptop while showing another screen on your TV. Another option, Windows P, second screen only, means everything is only going to display on the TV and the laptop screen is gonna turn black. This might be good when uh, you want kind of to save some battery, but also just to show everything on your TV and not have any light come out from the laptop. Window P again, we'll go to PC screen only. So that means everything is going to be back on the laptop. If you wanna play around with the display settings, you can right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Here, you'll find a bunch of different things you could change. So here you have the setup. This is extended displays. When you hit identify, it shows you what screen you're on. So the laptop is one. That means the TV is two. You go down, you could see the display resolution, orientation, then also here's another way to change the display setup. Maybe you're wondering what happens if I connect the laptop with a 1080p display to a 4K TV? Can I watch 4K movies and videos on my TV? The answer is maybe. Here, my laptop is 1080p, as you could see here, but the TV has a much higher resolution, 4K. 
And that's because it all depends on the GPU's capability. If you search your GPU specs online, you can determine if it's a viable option. Keep in mind, most laptops are limited to 4K 30 Hertz because of the HDMI spec being 1.4 or lower. If you have video card and HDMI 2.0, you can get 4K at 60 Hertz. You have a less flicker and a better picture quality. And that's it, everybody. The video is pretty easy. All you have to do is just connect your laptop to your TV with an HDMI cable or another cable if that's not compatible. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. I'll make sure to reply. Otherwise, leave this video a like. See ya.